Has the rider on the white horse been given a crown? Has CO1 been opened? Is he now going forth to conquer the world? In this video I will present information that leads me to believe that CO1 may have been opened, and the rider on the white horse has been given a crown, and he is going forth to conquer the world. And I saw when the Lamb opened one of the seals, and I heard, as it were the noise of thunder, one of the four beasts saying, Come and see. And I saw, and behold a white horse, and he that sat on him had a bow, and a crown was given unto him, and he went forth conquering, and to conquer. Revelation 6, 1 and 2. As you just read, after the opening of the first seal the rider on the white horse is given a crown and he goes forth to conquer the world. This white horse is a symbolic representation of the first major event in the end times, the initiation of the plan to begin the takeover of the world by the New World Order. And after they take over the world they will give it to the Antichrist for three and a half years. Here is an excerpt from the coming epiphany regarding this. The Events Preceding the Day of the Lord The Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse, as detailed in Revelation 6 symbolically represent the first four seals. It is hard to know for certain what exactly these seals entail because their descriptions are partially in symbolic language. However, a careful examination of Revelation 6 leads to the probable scenarios listed below. I would also like to add that the scriptures indicate that the start of each seal occurs in chronological order. They may overlap in duration or effect, but they occur chronologically. The first seal is represented by a conquering warrior riding a white horse. Notice that the warrior has a bow, but the text does not mention that he has any arrows. This leads me to believe that possibly this conquering force will accomplish the takeover without war, the coming epiphany page 36. Getting back to the hypothesis, has the rider on the white horse been given a crown and is he going forth to conquer the world? Consider this piece of information. On December 25th and 26th, 2019 a great celestial sign occurred, in the heaven above, the rider on the horse was given a crown. On that day a rare Christmas Day eclipse occurred. The December 26th, 2019 eclipse is an annular solar eclipse. An annular solar eclipse occurs when the moon's apparent diameter is smaller than the sun's, blocking most of the sun's light and causing the sun to look like an annulus, ring. It is also called a ring of fire eclipse. Here is a close up of what it will look like. Do you see the sign? At the time of the eclipse the rider on the horse was given a crown. The eclipse occurred over the head of Sagittarius, the centaur. And since the eclipse was an annular solar eclipse only the sun's corona was visible at the time. Corona means crown, the rider on the horse was given a crown. Throughout the ages God has put many celestial signs in the sky to let people know that something important is happening. A prime example was the famed Star of Bethlehem, which let all those who were watching know that the Messiah had been born. By the way, who was watching and recognized the Star of Bethlehem sign? Not the so-called religious people of the day, but a small group of foreigners called the Magi. Now what is Christmas Day Eclipse telling us? Is it telling us that CO1 has been opened? Well let's consider what happened around that time, the coronavirus pandemic narrative was in full swing. And since then, the governmental actions of countries around the world in response to the pandemic are threatening many people's lives, and freedoms, and the whole world system is teetering on the edge of collapse. Let's put it all together, a celestial sign occurred in which a rider on a horse was given a crown. This occurrence matches the description of CO1. The CO1 passage states that after the rider is given the crown, he goes forth to conquer the earth. Thirteen days exclusive after the December 25 to 26, 2019 sign the first official death in the USA from the coronavirus occurred on January 9, 2020. And since then the governmental response to the corona, crown virus is threatening to collapse the old world system. All of this information begs us to ask the question, has CO1 been opened, has the rider on the white horse been given a crown, is he now going forth to conquer the world?
If CO1 has been opened then the Mideast-centered CO2 nuclear World War III is next, which will be followed by the CO3 hyperinflationary economic collapse, then the CO4 death of one-fourth of the world's population, 1.9 billion, by various means. Then the Antichrist UFO man arrives on the scene to solve the world's problems, after which the CO5 mark of the beast monetary system will come about. Then comes the major geophysical event, the CO6 Nibiru planet X passage and most importantly, the rapture. On December 25-26, 2019 the rider on a horse was given a crown, has he now gone forth conquering, and to conquer, has CO1 been opened? Video by William Frederick M. Div, author of The Coming Epiphany, Your Guide to Understanding End Time Bible Prophecy. Click on the link in the description to visit the End Times Forecaster blog and to find out more. If this video has been a benefit to you perhaps you might consider hitting the subscribe button, thank you.